I remember finding this uh, set of chords. I knew I had something there. A bit Randy Newman, a bit... This is when I knew I had something here. <laughs> Thank you, Randy. So if I get a set of chords like that, for me that's just a sound zone for me to, to dwell in. So I just love staying in that space and then I'll just sort of groan things out as if, <laughs> as if I can't talk properly. And uh, it's really just getting the feeling of the sound out. So it's like a strange sort of groaned prayer. It sounds very stupid but um, it just, I've never understood when painters, they say, oh, I just throw up, put some paint at the canvas. I've just thought, how stupid is that? And then I see that really, in a way, I'm doing the same thing. I'm throwing sound around and seeing what sticks. And then it sticks to a, to a bigger idea. And uh, in this case, it's stuck to this uh, beautiful um, book by Salinger called Catcher in the Rye. So that's really the, how it starts. After, the, after this opening, though, I went to a minor chord and I really loved the idea that in the part when he's going to be endangered uh, and they're going to be playing near the cliff that I go to a minor chord and you get so there's this feeling of suspense in it so that was excited me and then this uplifting where the person is saved um, I'll always dream you're running, coming through the ride. Always see some kind of crazy cliff nearby. You run a world to laughing, but you run a blind. I'm hiding in a long grass and I'm just in time to snatch you from that place. Catch you and make you say I always thought that I could be your catcher in the um, Two things. I've always been inspired by J.D. Salinger's book, Catcher in the Rye. Fantastic book. And we named our first child Holden after the hero of that book, called it The Hero. The second thing uh, is uh, an overheard conversation I once heard between a child and a, a very depressed adult in which the child really inspired the adult. The adult was very, very down and felt that they couldn't create anymore after having lost a lot of money on a production. And the, and the kid said to uh, the parent, um, Dad, you can, you can write another thing. You'll always keep writing. And that was the moment that I realised that the kid in a way saved the adult. So that's what it's about. It's about everybody saving each other. I'm gonna be there when you're up and running. I'm gonna be there when you're up and coming. If you get scared, don't know what to do. Well, I'm gonna be there looking out for you. I in the long grass and I'm just in time to snatch you from that place to catch you and make you say I like to think that I could be your catcher in the ride
Cause I can't get by all by myself So if you see me coming Running through the ride If you see some kind of crazy clip nearby If I run the words are laughing Catch me and make me say I always knew that you could be a catcher too We'll go running through the run, good catcher You and I um, I found these lovely chords that, that I really enjoyed and sounded very inspiring to me and then that was the seed of the idea of doing something about catcher so after that I just sit at the piano for you know a few hours and slowly imbibe ideas and wine and I get into a sort of zone where I'm affected by the sounds of the words but I have to say that that's the in a way that's the easy part of it the, the, the long and hard part of it is it took me about two years to write and I used to go out on long book, you know, walks along the beach it would take me like uh, two hours just to get one connecting line so that the sound and the sense uh, in the song would be sort of as perfect as I could, as I could humanly make it. 